Hi there. So now that you have your line drawing of your objects completed, it's time to do some work in the negative spaces of the background to make forms pop out and contrast. One way that you can do this is by using a pen to follow the edges of your negative space and keep repeating them like an echo or a ripple effect. So when you first start, you just follow the edge of that space where it touches the objects and you keep your lines really close together so that they form a dark tone. You can go right round the space, keep following it, the edges, just like an echo. Then as you start coming closer into the centre of that space, you can make the lines a little further apart and the tone will become lighter. This is one way of filling the space. The other way is to use hatching in the background. The best kind of hatching lines in the background are straight ones. So pick a nice dark space from your visual resource and use straight lines to make hatched fill. Now this fill can be done with straight lines, they can be diagonal or vertical. Keep them close together and they'll create a nice dark tone in your background so that the forms the, the space is next to start to jump out because they show contrast. You'll notice I'm just working from the edge of one form to another, keeping my pen on the paper, just going fairly slowly, not trying to shade or sketch, just literally repeating lines. If you want to darken an area up, and you can see that this area is quite dark in the photocopy, use crossed hatch lines. Once again, nice and straight, edge to edge, but because they run over the top of the other lines and give another layer, they darken that whole area. That gives the forms much more punch because they pop out in contrast because they're lighter. As you move into the centre of those negative spaces, you can use fewer lines so that those centre space parts of the space stay lighter. If you have darker hatching next to the edges of forms, They'll look like they're sitting in the space. Let's check our photocopy. Okay, so we've got this nice dark area, but it could be darkened up in some places. So I'm going to go over some areas to make even darker contrast. Especially in the small negative spaces, you really want those to be quite dark so that things pop out in contrast. Once again, just reinforcing that hatching. Darkening up next to the edge. You can even do this in the areas that you did your ripple effect. You can hatch straight lines over the top just to increase the tone and make it darker in the areas where you want more contrast. It's nice to have variety in your background rather than having the filled space all one tone. So darken it next to the edges. Okay, let's take a look at that and just see how that bit looks. There we go. That's the effect we want. So now let's have a look at how we do the rest of it. I'll speed things up a bit so it doesn't take so long to see. But you'll see that I'm still treating each negative space area once, one at a time. I'm just working through even those really big areas, just running your lines straight up and down, then working hatching, cross hatching over the top to create more contrast where I want forms to pop more. I've even introduced an extra leaf down in the front there. This is going to make our forms pop out a lot more and make them sit in space. So let's have a look at how that ended up. 
Okay, we've got nice contrasting forms in the negative spaces.